Happy 4th of July. When it comes to one-run games, the Reds are tough to beat. They have won 16 out of 26, but today the Reds turn a one-run lead into a run, one-run loss to the Brewers. Reds have now dropped 14 of their last 19 at Synergy Field. Let's go to the Patriotic Park, and we start in the third with starter Jared Fernandez, Todd Walker, and Aaron Boone all on base. All-star Adam Dunn walks in Fernandez. Jared was just called up from Louisville, giving the Reds a one-to-nothing lead. Juan Encarnacion then drills Jose Cabrera's offering the center field. Walker and Boone both come around to score. The Reds are on top three to nothing. However, the Brewers come back on the knuckleballer Jared Fernandez. Bases loaded in the fifth. Richie Sexton lines one to the wall and left. And when Adam Dunn has trouble fielding it off the carom, not just two, but all three runners score. That ties the game at three apiece. Todd Walker goes three for four today. Puts the Reds back on top as he singles home Austin Kearns in the sixth. Reds up four to three. Danny Graves comes on in the ninth. Two on, two outs. But Eric Young bangs the two-run gapper. Brewers go ahead five to four. Graves blows his seventh save. Reds have a chance in the ninth with runners at the corners. And Carnacion grounds out. Reds lose their third straight five to four. But Jared Fernandez was a bright spot in his season debut. It felt like later on I started to get at the last inning that I threw. I, I felt I'm staying back well. I'm getting good grip on the knuckleball. So, you know, the more I get to throw the big league baseball and the more I get to see these big league hitters, I think the better I'll do. His uh, whole men mental aspect is to go out and have them miss hit it, you know. And, you know, he, he did a good job, I thought. Um, just that one pitch, three runs. Elmer DeSen's start against the Brewers was pushed back a day after experiencing shoulder stiffness. And given this evening's performance, you have to wonder if Elmer is completely healthy. The Reds' bats try to overcome shaky pitching, hoping to snap a three-game losing streak. Let's go to Synergy Field. Hey, this isn't Bob Euchre. He was calling the game. This guy's just enjoying the sights. Watching the Reds take the lead in the first. Aaron Boone doubles the right, scores Barry Larkin, and Boone later scores, make it two zip. But the Brewers move ahead when former Red Jeffrey Hammonds bangs his two-run homer to left. Brew crew on top, three to two. Back come the Reds. Barry Larkin, who has a triple shy of hitting for the cycle, smacks a solo shot here, ties the game three all. One out later, it's Mr. All-Star Adam Dunn bashing his 17th off Glendon Rush, who's 0-3 lifetime against the Reds. It's 4-3 now, but in the fifth, Hammonds isn't finished beating up the Sens. Doubles the left, scores two runs. It's the Brewers now with a 5-4 margin. Now the Reds turn the tide in the fifth and go back in front when Dunn sends a long fly high off the big black wall in center. Boone and Larkin come home, Reds ahead 7-5. Sean Casey finally finds a way to get on base. Watch this, they call it a base hit. Casey celebrates, snapping his 0 for 18 slump as Dunn scores. Oh, yeah. Danny Graves makes it interesting again in the ninth. Two men on. The wild pitch gets away from Jason LaRue, but Graves with an excellent block of the plate. Here he tags out Eric Young, keeping the score eight to six Reds. And this time, Graves finally nails down his 26 save as Tyler Houston strikes out to end it. Reds end the three-game slide eight to six. As soon as I got the ball, I was doing anything I could to keep him from scoring. Whether, you know, and it looked like I, I kind of tackled him. I didn't mean to, but uh, I was doing anything to keep him from, from touching the plate. It's been a tough stretch, but, uh, you know, that's why this game's a long year. You, I, every year I seem to find one of these things, and uh, they're never fun. So just got to battle through it, man. I'm trying to battle through it right now, but, you know, uh, I know it'll turn at some point here, and hopefully it'll turn, you know, that, that hit will get me going. You know, they just kept coming, and, and we were able to answer. So uh, it was a good game for us. It got kind of hairy in that last inning, but uh, we were able to hold on, and it was a good win for us. Jimmy Haynes has certainly shouldered more than his share in the first half, looking to become the first Reds pitcher to win 10 games before the All-Star break since Tom Browning back in 1991. Let's go to Synergy Field. Reds and Brewers tied one apiece till the fifth. Jace LaRue singles the center, scores Barry Larkin. The Reds are up 2-1. to one. Then LaRue comes home on Aaron Boone's base hit. Watches it skips past Eric Young. Whoops, Reds up 3-1 to one after 5. Now the Reds' lone All-Star Adam Dunn shows he is more than just a great hitter. Check out the nice diving catch here by Dunn. Oh, man, I'd love to see this Tuesday night in the All-Star game. Then in the sixth, the Reds load him up, and LaRue clears the bases with a double to left field. Brings on Juan Encarnacion, Barry Larkin, and Austin Kern. Reds on top 6-1. to one. Starter Jimmy Haynes stays in. One batter too long. Richie Sexton bashes this homer to left. Two-run shot. Brewers cut the deficit to 6-4. And threaten in the eighth with two on, but reliever Scott Sullivan strikes out Eric Young to end the inning. Sullivan gets some great defense behind him. Encarnacion robbing Sexton. And Sullivan becomes the first Reds pitcher this season, other than Danny Graves, to nail down a save. Jimmy Haynes gets the win. Reds 6-4.
Jimmy did a terrific job. He just kind of ran out of gas there in the seventh. But uh, he did a great job. We, we needed those innings. And uh, and he was, I, th I really felt like he was in, in good command most of the game. It's definitely good to end up the, uh, you know, first half of the season with uh, 10 wins. Uh, never expected to do that good. But, uh, you know, we've been scoring runs when I pitch. Uh, here lately, and it's uh, been working out for me. Your jaw starts falling so much, and, and you get too pumped up. So I, I just try to calm myself down as best I could, take a, a bunch of deep breaths, and just go up there and try and get a good pitch to hit. And I... First, the good news. The Reds close out the first half of the season with 13 more wins than at this time last year. Now the bad news. The Reds settle for a split with the Brewers after losing the series finale today. Let's go to Synergy Field. Watch Aaron Boone. He manufactures a run in the first. Steals second. Then he swipes third. And finally comes around on a wild pitch by Brewers starter Ruben Cavetto. Reds lead it. One to nothing. Brewers take the lead off Joey Hamilton in the second. Alex Sanchez plates Mark Loretta for a 2-1 margin. But look at Adam Dunn in right. Strikes to Corey Miller. Corky Miller make that, and he nails Paul Bacco at home. Bottom two, Todd Walker gets the lead back. Two-run blast to right, that stays fair. Reds three to two. Check out the nice D by Walker. The momentum carries him towards second. Walker flips the Larkin, they get the out, but Eric Young scores, tie it up. Three all in the fifth. Matt Stairs rips one to right. Young flies around third and scores for a 4-3 Brewers lead. Then it's 5-3 when the Reds catch a break. Runners at the quarters, two outs. Adam Dunn drops the fly ball, but the runner doesn't go. So the Reds get the force at second, run doesn't count. Count. Bad luck for Walker here in the sixth. The ball ricochets off the pitcher to Young, who doubles off Russ Pranian. Double play, but next time up, Walker connects for a clean single to right. Tim Foley has Sean Casey, test former red Alex Ochoa, and Ochoa's throw is right on the money. Baco applies the tag. You're out of there, Sean. 6-3, top nine, when another former red, Jeffrey Hammonds, crushes one off Scott Williamson. You think he knew he got it? Oh, yeah. It's 7-3. Bottom nine, Aaron Boone takes Brewers closer. Mike DeJean deep to left, just enough to get over the wall. His 12th of the season. Man on, two outs. Juan Encarnacion strikes out. Reds lose seven to four. Started Joey Hamilton, falls to three and six. Knowing that it's the Brewers and they're not such a great team, you know, it's a little more frustrating than than facing the Angels or St. Louis or Atlanta, um, which I've had four starts against uh, in the past month and a half. I actually got it off the end of the bat a little bit. I thought it was going to be foul at first, and then all of a sudden it snuck out of there, and so. You know, it's a little disappointing because we're, you know, obviously the game was kind of over at that point. And, uh, but, you know, I guess it's a nice way to exit the half. Now the first place Cardinals beat the Dodgers today 12 to 6. That leaves the Reds two games back at the break. To put things in perspective, last year they were 17 and a half games out. Needless to say, a very successful first half. And now the team is looking forward to a little break. Well, I guess I'm fairly pleased with the first half. I think there's a lot of things we can improve on. I think we got a long way to go, and uh, we're on the other side of the mountain. And, and uh, this break's coming at a real good time, I think, not only physically for some guys, but mentally. Personally, it's been, been pretty disappointing, to tell you the truth. And, uh, you know, the last six weeks, what, what's in my recent memory has been disappointing. But um, as overall, as a team, I think we've exceeded a lot of um, people's expectations. I've had a lot of fun, and this team is, you know, we've just having a, a good time playing together and, and uh, we've done pretty well so we're just going to try to uh, carry it over in the second half.